Pisces, welcome to the second half of November love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So I'm just going to dive right into what I picked up in the meditative session. I don't want to waste too much time on the intro, and I know I got some newbies, so if you're new to tarot and trying to understand tarot readings and how to like basically just um, interpret what I'm telling you, there's a link below So to answer any of your questions on like what sign do I watch, what placements matter. Oh, 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 hold on. Oh, what was that? Oh. I think a spider just crawled on me. <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, what was that? Oh, that gave me the heebie-jeebies. Okay, that was weird. I don't see a spider, but that's what it felt like. That's exactly what it felt like. I don't see one, but that's what it felt like. Anyway, spider might be significant for some of you guys. So Leo's, back to you. Um, the video is very helpful if you don't understand what signs of yours to watch, what placements are important. Oh, Typical guidelines, how energy, why do I feel like my camera's fuzzy? I'm so sorry, guys. And it's funny because I was about to say, I picked up uh, interruptions too during your energy uh, when, I was when I was meditating on it. Jesus, when I was meditating on it. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're fine. Sorry, I think we're fine. Any, Clyde? <laughs> Shit, I'm sorry, Leo. Okay. There's a, you're, you're experiencing a lot of distractions, Leo. There's a lot of interruptions in your life, and I was picking that up during the meditative session. But anyway, Leo, so go watch that video if you have any questions or curiosities on how to interpret what I'm telling you um, as a viewer, okay? So, Leo, the first thing I actually got was strikes again. That's the first thing that I heard, strikes again. Um, and then I heard the Pink Panther theme. I'm not going to try to sing it. I'm not going to try to reiterate it. You guys know how it goes. It's pretty infamous. Um, Clyde? Thank you. Sorry, guys. He did that in Aries yesterday, uh, last night, too. Anyway, sorry for the distractions, Leo. I think you got a lot of distractions going on, and I think that's what this person's up to, okay? I do think someone's actually up to something, like actually up, to, like trying to sabotage you, uh, deceive you, distract you. I think at the end of the day, it's just to distract you, okay? I feel like it's an energy of trying to hold on to you, like latching on. It feels very uh, controlling. It feels very manipulative, okay? And I think this person might have a track record with you, Leo. So just keep that in mind. I do think there is an actual track record, okay? And I feel like it's just to keep you from moving forward, keep you from being successful, or maybe even, and for some of you, honestly, to keep you from leaving them, I'm just going honest there, to keep you from leaving them, okay? Um, there's also a very Snoopy kind of energy that I was picking up on too, like I like very, very Page of Swords, Queen of Swords, Seven of Swords kind of energy, like someone just is way too up in someone else's business. Um, and to be honest, Leo, for some of you, I think it goes just, I think it goes beyond you. I think it goes beyond you. I think it goes to people that you're even talking to or people that you interact with. And I would just be very mindful if that resonates with you, okay? But someone's up to something. Someone's up to something and it does not feel good. It really doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel right. Um, and it, I feel like for some of you, these interruptions that I was picking up on, it's not just from this person. It might even be from multiple people who keep like kind of interrupting your work or um, slowing you down. Like you might just find you're getting phone call after phone call after phone call or text after text after text. And then you're like, wait, I got to do this. Okay, let me let me address that. Okay, fine. Let me go back to doing this. Wait, but I really want to do that. You know, or like maybe um, you're getting a lot more invites to go out for fun, which hey, is always nice to go and hang out with friends. But maybe you're like, you want to focus on your work. And so you're having a hard time where it's like, I really need to get this shit done. Why does everybody want a piece of me right now? It's just interruptions to keep you from progressing, okay? So please keep that in mind. And like I said, please watch out for that Snoopy energy. I can, it's really strong. It's really, really, really strong, Leo. And someone is actively planning something deceptive or something that's just not exactly honest when it comes to you all in the name of keeping you from either leaving them moving away from them progressing on your path or to just keep you distracted because they just want to hold on to you and latch on to you okay so let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle here leo please provide any messages of true healing and love for leo's sun moon rising venus and jupiter for the last half of november Someone might be very playful with you, Leo. For some of you, this person's deceptive ways uh, always starts out very playful. Someone might actually use, um, oh, well, there you go. Someone might actually use emotional manipulation. Some might even use sex or lust to kind of keep you 
distracted, okay? So just keep that in mind. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Losing for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Oh, 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 okay. And I'm actually getting, Leo, if you reject this person or, like, if, if you have a pattern of being, like, you know that's, like, that's really nice of you or I can't right now or, like, you just don't answer them or what have you, there tends to be a lashing out. It feels a little narky. I gotta be honest. It feels a little narky. Um, but anyway, let's keep going. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. And keep in mind, it's energy, guys, so it can be vice versa. I'm seeing a donkey. And my first thought was, oh, an ass. <laughs> Oh, a jackass. Um, Leo, you might feel like the person you're dealing with is quite a jackass. Um, what is this donkey energy? I know there's a spiritual meaning behind donkey. I don't know what it is, though. I would think it's associated with work, like hard work and stability, like very Virgo-like energy. It feels very Virgo to me. Um, yeah, I feel like this is all to keep you from moving, Leo. I got to be honest, like, like to prevent movement in your life to prevent to prevent progression to prevent growth i really feel like that's all it is to keep you in the same place this could be happening at work or with romance it feels romantic though it feels romantic or social circle related even family related it doesn't feel like it's in the work realm but it, it definitely can be for some of you like you know the boss or coworker that buries you in work just to keep you busy as opposed to keep you like really progressing so to speak Pleasing forward any messages of truth or any love for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. Okay. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Five of sort. someone's bringing up the past. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm getting with this. Someone's bringing up the past. Five of swords in reverse. <laughs> I just heard, let it go. <laughs> just let it go. Oh, Leo, five of swords in reverse, Venus in Aquarian energy, and death in reverse, Scorpionic energy. By the way, this is the Haunted House deck. I'm going to put a link below. I've been meaning to. But honestly, Leo, that's what I keep getting. Someone keeps bringing up the fucking past. It's like, it's something that I think you even buried with this person. You know what I mean? Like, you, you talked it out, you decided to move past it, and someone's bringing that shit up. They just won't let it die. They just won't, won't let it die. This is someone who doesn't fight fair, by the way. This feels so narcissistic. I'm sorry. I'm getting a very narky energy from this person. Um, yeah, they don't fight fair. They don't fight fair. They don't fight fair. It's like you get into an argument about something, they bring up something that happened like six months ago, and you're like, didn't we talk about that? But you still did it. It's just a distract, it, distractions. It's just to distract you, okay? It's just to keep you arguing. It's just to keep you in the fight. It's not for resolution. This person actually, I don't even think really wants resolution or they don't like resolution. Like they kind of get like, oh, it, it's kind of the energy of someone who just always knew arguments or argumentative energy growing up. So it's like, that's how they are used to being in relationships or that's how they're used to engaging with people is through arguing. So there's no arguing. Something's, something in within them feels like something's wrong. I don't know why I can't talk today. But yeah, that's how it feels. This person needs to argue within relationships or with people because that's just what they're used to. They don't know different. No excuses. No excuses. But if everything's peaceful, they think something's wrong. Okay, because it's that's just what they're used to. But someone that won't let the past go. Don't let the past go. Any messages for um, Leo? Closing for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. We're already at nine minutes. Okay, I'm gonna pull what I pull what I did in Pisces. <laughs> this is still the pre-shuffle, but we're nine minutes in, and I'm just getting like real it dragged into this energy. Let's just start the reading with these with these cards and see what else wants to come out here because I feel really into your energy right now, Leo. Really into your energy. I feel a lot of eye rolls too. I feel like you're rolling your eyes at this person. Oh. Oh, oh, Leo, they're really testing like your, your, um, your will here. Uh, it's making you nuts. Okay. It's making you nuts. And it's like, they're getting you really worked up, but I think that's, again, I think that's part of their goal. Um, that's part of their goal. They're trying to get you worked up. It just keeps you distracted from the truth. Wow. 
<laughs> it keeps you distracted from the truth and the reality of what's really going on. It keeps you in the fight. It keeps you low vibrational as opposed to seeing the big picture of the situation you're in. Wow. Very narcissistic. Okay. Any messages for Leo? Any messages for Leo regarding love for the last half of November? Any messages for Leo regarding love for the last half of November? Let's see here. Wow. King of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. You're just wanting to retreat. You're just wanting to retreat from the situation. I think you've, you're emotionally spent on this person. I think you're very emotionally spent. It's, it's like you're tapped. You're fucking tapped because they've tapped you, Leo. They've, they've sucked the life out of you a little bit. I feel a lot of exhaustion coming over you. Um, like you just like, all you can do is just sit there and they're just like berating, berating, berating. And just like, <laughs> I feel like that's, you can't even really muster a whole lot of words. This person after, after a certain point, they're, yeah, they're emotionally drained. You're emotionally drained and it's turning into physical exhaustion here. Any messages for Leo? Regarding love for the last half of November. Whoa. Judgment. Scorpionic energy. Could also be a uh, fire. Oh, Jesus. Could also be fire. Excuse me. Could also be fire. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of eyes on you, Leo. I keep, yeah, I keep picking up on this like snoopy, snoopy energy. Um, you're wanting comfort. Oh, Leo. You're wanting comfort. You're just like, look, like, I just feel like this is almost like you. Like, you're just so exhausted. It's just like, like, can someone just like fucking nurture me? Like, like that's really how it feels. Like, I just want to be nurtured. I just want to be rested. I just want fucking peace. Like, I don't want to hear about the past. I don't want to hear about this. I don't want to hear about that. I don't want you snooping up on me. It's like, wow, Leo, this is, this is feeling like really, really intense. But I feel like they, they're up to something very specific. I feel like they're actually planning something or trying to find something trying to find something they don't want you to forget about something interesting they've got a little vindictive streak is what i'm getting a little bit of a vindictive streak um i feel like you're thinking about new starts with judgment actually i feel like you're thinking about new starts because you're so drained you're so drained i'm sure you guys can feel it just from like me channeling this energy Let's see what else we have here hi Nine of Cups, yep. Mm -hmm. Piscean energy, being happy within yourself. Just being able to have that like independent emotional happiness and peace and emotional stability in your life that you just can't have around this person. And like I said, I'm getting a new start with that. A new start with that is what you want. Something that's nurturing, something that's comforting, something that's just fucking peaceful. Even if you just ride solo, it's like, I, I just want some fucking peace. I just want some fucking peace. Any messages for Leo? Regarding love for the last half of November, I'm seeing seagulls. Damn it, I know that means something. Mm. Seagulls, you could just be by the beach. I just, when I think of seagulls, maybe it's just because I live in California. I think, that, I just think of scavengers, to be honest. Like scavengers, like, you know, they, they just... They, they scavenge, they do. I mean, they really are kind of like beach vultures, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, actually, Dylan, like, I, I kind of want to, I almost went into like the whole thing about birds and like their, their plight right now, but that so does not pertain to this. So I'm just going to not go there. Um, but I'm almost getting like a cleaning of you, Leo. Like a cleansing. A cleansing is needed. A cleansing is needed. I feel like that's the state you want to be in, like where you're just free of this kind of energy. You're free of this, of this person, this person who doesn't fight fair, this person who's up to something, this person who's very, like, very snoopy. Like, you're just, you, you just, you, you just, you just want to be cleansed of them. You don't want their energy in your essence anymore. Any messages for Leo regarding love for the last half of November? All right, on the bottom, wow, Wheel of Fortune. I love seeing that, Jupiter Energy. You want a change. You want a change, Leo. You want out. You want out. You want away from this person. I think like every time, I feel like there's a big pattern, Leo, with, between you and this person. I feel like every time it's happened, 
there's been hope because you guys talk it out and you feel appeased or you're able to appease them and there's some peace for a while, there's some fun for a while, and then they go right back at it. They strike again and again and again and again. Some of you, this is a real tired pattern. Some of you, this is like, a, you're realizing it's a pattern for the first time and you're just like, I can't, like, no, like, I can't, like, I need a change. I need a new start. I need to nurture me. I need to nurture me and I need to, I just, I need, I need some peace. I need some peace. Underneath that, we do have, <clears throat> excuse me, the Page of Wands. And then there you go. Peace, Temperance, Sagittarian Energy. This is what you want. This is what you want. I feel like you could even be seeking counsel or advice here with the Temperance card. Um, it could just be between you and your guides or you and your higher self. It could just be that Temperance is more of like a divine fix-it angel, spirit, um, you know, spiritual guidance kind of a card here. But Page of Wands, I do feel a seeking with that. And more of that new page of wands about new new creativity inspiration what's next what's next what's next that's what you want you want peace some some of you are getting guidance some of you are, are going to be leaning on someone if you're leaning on someone they're very spiritual and they're very healing energy they could even be a healer actually as a temperance card because i feel like it's actually a person i do feel like this is temperance cards acting as a person but like i said it could also be a guide of yours wow underneath that we do have the queen of swords in reverse so yeah, okay, I'm getting that really strong here, Leo. Whoever this is that you're going to be seeking advice to or leaning on because you want to change from what you're dealing with to something nourishing and peaceful, it's someone that there's not a whole lot of communication with right now. Um, it could even be someone of the same gender. It feels very friend-like. It feels just very supportive, very friend-like. It could even be a family member, but it's someone that you're not really talking. Oh, 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 Leo. So, sorry, I don't mean to look all annoyed. Some of you, not all of you, some of you were not allowed to speak to this person because of the person you're dealing with. Because of the person you're dealing with, um, it's like, it's that very possessive, clingy energy that I was picking up on of like, who are you talking to? Why are you talking to them? What are you saying to them? They might even look at your phone. It's like, like I said, very, very snoopy kind of energy. And like I said, be very careful right now, Leo, because I feel like they're snooping more than just you. I feel like they're snooping into the people you're talking to, okay? So just be very mindful about that. But yeah, this person that you're leaning on and that you want to speak to, it's it feels very yummy. It feels just very healing. It just feels very healing and just very friendly and just like like a pillow you can lay on. Like that's really how it feels. For some of you, this is actually, um oh, oh wow. Uh, Leo, for some of you, I feel like this is someone who might have even passed on who's kind of acting as a guide for you um or a bit of like a guardian angel for you someone who's around you for some of you it is someone that's passed on who's who's giving you comfort you might even actually like talk to this person like you know what i mean where you're like you know i wish you were here and all of this st stuff if you do speak to them because some of you do um they do hear you and they are there with you and they do give you their energy it feels very protective. It feels very protective, very comforting, very nurturing. But there's a sense of like cut off communication, whether it's just because they've passed on or this person has just forbidden you from speaking to them or there's been some kind of rift with this person. I feel like if there's been a rift with this person, it's because of the person you're currently dealing with. Oh, Leo. <laughs> okay, this is not gonna be for all Leos, obviously. But so they're bringing some shit from the past up, okay? Let's see what they're digging up in from the past here. Because this is what's triggering you to just be like, I might be done. <laughs> it's like, that's what feels, it's like the last straw before the kid like broke the camel's back. You're just like, the, like, like you almost can't believe they had the audacity to do this shit again. And you're just like, okay, <laughs> okay, I, 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 I think I'm out. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. You know, it, it's that kind of energy. So it's like a death in reverse. Um... Mm. Mm. no <laughs> sorry i've been so indecisive lately i'll use the norman deck for this actually talking about death in reverse what's being brought up here what's being brought up from the past what's being brought up from the past what's being brought up from the past see here female okay uh ace of swords 29 breaking down to 11 so a fe feminine energy here 
I feel like this is someone who's actually bringing shit up, but someone could be bringing up someone from your past. It could even be this fucking person right here, okay? It's feminine energy, but it could also be a man. It doesn't have to be a woman. Talking about death in reverse. Talking about death in reverse. What's being brought up here? What's being brought up from the past? I kind of do feel like they're bringing up a person. Tell me about death in reverse. If they, okay, for some of you, they're going to bring up this person that you're not really connecting to. And I think that's only just going to push you closer to them because you're just like, you're bringing this person up again. I mean, you're just, <clears throat> you're just kind of in awe. This person's bringing this shit up. Tell me about death in reverse. We have the ship. Energy of three, communication with the Ten of Swords. This is closing out a cycle and going towards another another one via communication here. Talking about death in reverse. Can even be travel involved with this? Talking about death in reverse. Oh, yeah. This is the person you, that you're dealing with right now. The cross, which is a burden. Literally, like, bearing the cross. 36, break it down to a nine with the six of wands. Yeah, Leo, this is... This is this is the person that is bringing shit up again and it's just become a burden and it's just kind of like I, I i think i have to go <laughs> like i i really think I, I can't like i can't i can't stay here um like i said it can be a man it doesn't have to be a woman it's just very feminine energy on the bottom we have <clears throat> geez, excuse me on the bottom we have the moon with the eight of cups Moving on, leaving things behind. 32, break it down to a five, which is change and transformation. The moon in the Norman deck is very similar to tarot. It's about um, illusions, emotion, intuition, but it's also a card about work, which I always find very interesting. It is a card about work, work environment. Um, this could pertain to your work. It doesn't have to. I really feel like it's just about your emotions here and seeing through the illusions, especially that magnifying glass. I never really noticed that before. Like seeing through the illusions of your situation that you're in and you're like, wow, I, I do I do need to leave this behind. This has become a big burden. This has become a major, major burden. I, I, I can't do this anymore. So let's look at the King of Cups in reverse. I feel like this is your energy, Leo, where you're just like, I'm tapped out on emotion for this person. That's kind of how this feels. Ah. Sorry guys, I like I've actually been okay. I'm starting to think it's my um <laughs> I'm starting to think it's my um what do you call it? Nasal chakra. I'm starting to think that's what it is. Cause I've been really fine like all day so far. And then when I started getting into your energy, I started feeling it a little bit. Anyway, neither neither, neither heard or there. I'm gonna pull this from the steampunk deck. I my mouth isn't working. I'm sorry. I haven't used this deck in a while. Talk about King of Cups in reverse. Uh, tell me about King of Cups in reverse. I just heard Sage. You could be a Sage. Wait, one of these people could be a Sage. You're definitely going from someone to another person. And I feel like the person you're going to, it's just it's for the purpose of healing. It's for the purpose of healing. It's it's to have some someone to lean on a little bit here. And for some, it could even be like again, like I said, that new start kind of energy. Wow, yeah. See, three of swords in reverse, Libra energy. You're so done. Like you're so done to the point where it's almost not even painful anymore, the thought of leaving this person or the thought of not dealing with this person anymore and cutting this person off. Tell me about the King of Cups in reverse. And of course, it's the third party card. If you know you're in a third party, it's ending. Uh, tell me about King of Cups in reverse. Uh, tell me about King of Cups in reverse for Leo regarding love for the last half of November. Oh. Time at King of Cups in reverse for Leo regarding love. The sun. Wow. New starts. You got new start, new start, new start. Three cards for new starts here. I feel like you are reconciling with this person that you've had a rift with. And like I said, for most of you, you had a rift with this person because of the person that is making your life so difficult and draining the life out of you, okay? Um, for those where you're leading on someone where it's more of like a guide or an ancestor of that kind of thing, you're still getting a new start. You're just getting cosmic healing help as opposed to three-dimensional friendly help, <laughs> okay? Oh, man. Yeah, it's like, I just, yeah, I just want peace. I just want peace. I just want happiness. Like, that's it. That's that's that, that's all I want. So I'm looking at Cups of Diverse. 
Nine of Cups. I like it, Piscean energy. You're so walking into your happy place, Leo. And it's like, I feel like it was a hard decision to make for a while because I feel like you've gone back and forth on this. And this is just, like I said, like just the last straw. Like you're just seeing through the bullshit now. You're just seeing through the pattern and you're just like, this is just going in fucking circles. Like, why would I keep doing this to myself? I really need peace. I really need to be happy. I need my energy back is also what I heard. I need my energy back. For some of you were dealing with a um, an energetic vampire. But Leo, you're walking straight to the sun. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I have a King of Cups in reverse for Leo. Oh, Eight of Swords just came out. So I have a King of Cups in reverse. For Leo. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. I, like I said, for some of you, it's it's taken a while to get to this point. Eight of Swords, Gemini energy with the Nine of Wands in reverse, Sag energy. This is like, can I let it go? Can I not let it go? Can I let it go? Can I not let it go? It's almost like being afraid to walk away from what you've been used to or just afraid to walk away because this person is clearly very, um, I need to figure out what that is, um, berating. It's very exhausting when things don't go right with this person. When things go right, I think it's very nice. I think it's very fun. I think it makes you feel really, really good. But when they go bad, it's just like it literally drains the life out of you. And I think you've been afraid to go there with this person because of that. And it's going there anyway. And you're just like, hmm. <laughs> It was like, oh, well, I, I, I guess that I guess there's my answer, right? I guess there's my answer. But overall energy, look at this. I love it. King of Cups upright. You're trying to get back to this. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. Very loving, very loving, very emotionally stable, feeling damn good, feeling grounded. This is the energy that you're trying to get back to. Underneath that, we do have five of wands in reverse. Leo energy. Oh, Leo energy, getting away from the fighting, turning your back on it turning your back on it wow i love it okay now let's move into your new start let's move into your new start and see what that entails i'm gonna look at the knight of cups after i get some water hold on oh okay oh that's a lot better okay rider right weight tell me about the knight of cups for leo one of the Nine of Cups for Leo regarding love for the last half of November. One of the Nine of Cups for Leo regarding love for the last half of November. One of the Nine of Cups for Leo regarding love for the last half of November. Some of the Nine of Cups for Leo regarding love. Wow. Queen of Cups in reverse. Can't Syrian energy. Can we see Pisces or Scorpio? It's interesting, Leo, because like I said, you keep coming up as a King of Cups, and now we've got a Queen of Cups on the board. And for those where this person is more of a three-dimensional person that you're going towards for comfort and healing, they're coming across as a Queen of Swords. I do feel like it's this person... I do feel like it's this person. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I, yeah, I feel like you feel, I feel that you feel, <laughs> that your happiness is going to come from healing with this person you're going to for aid. But let's, let's keep it going here. Wow. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy. Wow. This is an outpouring of emotion. Total open heart is what I just heard. Like open heart. I just heard open heart. Oh, hopefully no one's having open heart surgery. Um, that's what I'm getting with this. Open heart, open arms. But they're in reverse. Leo, this person might be either really hurt right now or you might see them as being really hurt because there's been some kind of disconnection. But I'm just getting open heart with that. Open heart. Let's keep it going. So I'm with the Nine of Cups. So I'm with the Nine of Cups for Leo. Regarding love. Oh, geez. Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. Yeah, I'm getting no communication. The communication between you and this person has really significantly, like, died down. Almost ceased. But the truth is they've been wanting to talk to you. And you've been wanting to talk to them. Talk about the Nine of Cups. 
for Leo regarding love. And there's the Ace of Wands. Nice. Oh, don't worry, I'm going to hold these cards up. Don't worry. Tell me about Nine of Cups for Leo. So I'm feeling like some of you guys were asking me. Tell me about Nine of Cups for Leo regarding love. Wow. Oh. Tell me about Nine of Cups for Leo. Oh, Leo. Oh. Yeah, this is this is kind of sweet. So we have Queen of Cups in reverse with the Four of Pentacles in reverse and Nine of Swords in reverse. This is like no talking. I'm just getting more of that no talking here. Um, but it's associated with your Nine of Cups energy of your wish fulfillment, of your new start here. I feel like there's been like, I just keep getting open heart, open heart, open heart. Um, this person that you're heading towards might have been going through a heart chakra opening or you, you just see them as being very open hearted very open-hearted but there has a big communication between the two of you and but there's been a wanting there's been a want of moving towards this person to communicate but you haven't been doing it and they haven't been doing it either clearly right they haven't been doing it either uh ay, ay, ay. and like i said i think there's a perception here of of pain between the two of you but i don't think like i feel like it's a perception Leo, I don't think it's accurate. I, I just feel like it's a perception. If there's pain, I think you've been experiencing some pain, mostly because of the situation you've been involved in and trying to get out of. Um, I don't think they're in pain. I do think they're very open-hearted, uh, maybe even to a fault, maybe even a little bit to a fault. Um, but there's just been, oh, if that's what it is. It's a longing. Oh, okay. Um, it's a longing and you guys are a true pair. With Cancer energy and Scorpionic energy, you guys are definitely a true pair here. And then we have, look at this, look at this, look at this. I know, I thought that was so cool. Ace of Wands with the Page of Swords and the Magician. Mercurial energy, Virgo, Gemini. It could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. I feel like this is you, Leo. Like I said, you want a new start. New freaking start. And this is you communicating about that after, after not having communication about that or not expressing it. Either not expressing it to the person you're trying to leave behind or the person you're trying to head towards. This is you finally expressing it and through expressing it, it manifests. It's almost like that's the last step. I feel like Leo, you, whether you're aware of it or not, you've been manifesting this new start. Sorry guys, I know it's making me crazy to sound like this. Um, whether you realize it or not, Leo, you've been manifesting it and it's like the last step that was needed was using the sword. That was the last step needed to get to this new start because the wand with the old Philip was already there. The opportunity was already there. You've already had the cup. You've already had the pentacle. You just needed to use the sword to talk, to express it, to verbalize it into existence. And in doing that, boom, you get to have it. Overall energy, we do have Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is funny. Ace of Cups. Ace of Pentacles in reverse with King of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy. Again, here you are. Uh, water energy could also be air. And then we've got the Tower in reverse. War Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because it's Mars. Then we have the moon in reverse. We'll add a lot of major account in here. Piscean energy could also be Cancerian for me as a reader. Someone could have a Scorp. Oh, God. Moon placement here with all that Scorpio energy. And then we've got the Ten of Swords. Yep. Gemini energy. This is you on that journey of like, I want a new start. 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 I want it. I do want it. How do I get it? Again, just by speaking into existence, because you've been emotionally drained. And as you're getting emotionally drained, this tower moment happens, making you realize that you are done with this cycle. You're done with this person. You're done with this energy. You're done with your energy being drained. And you're going to go off into what makes you happy, into your wish fulfillment, into what um, emotionally nourishes you. Okay. Oh, boy. All right, Leo. This is beautiful. I have to say, it's really beautiful. I really like it. It's really sweet. Uh, let's go to pull some advice using the uh, spirit animal deck. It's so in and out. It made, that's what really makes me crazy with this. And that's why I also feel like it's chakra related and not allergy related. Because I've tried allergy medicine and nothing's been working. And then I go like, just like that. Like I go for being totally fine and then not fine. <laughs> and it only seems to be when I'm channeling energy or doing videos. Okay. Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? 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 One more. 
Okay. Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Ah! Energy of one, ant spirit, time to collaborate. This is my three of pentacles card. You're going towards this person to get your healing, to, to lean on someone, to get your peace, okay? So just get peace of mind. And like I said, for some of you, we're not heading towards a person, but it's more so you have a little bit of a guardian angel or someone who's passed on in your life who's really helping you cosmically heal. They're working with you in doing that so that you can just get back on your feet, get, get more stable again, and start going on your path, right? Go on to the next cycle here. Very nice, very nice. Ooh, Hawk Spirit. Let Spirit be your guide. 32, break it down to a five. Like I said, you got some angel, you got some little guidance here. You got some spiritual guidance here. It's also following your intuition. Uh, I feel like your guides are really close. I feel like your guides are really close. I feel like you're also spiritually guided to this person. You're oh. There we go. And like I said, I feel like one of you is a sage or someone's a sage in in, in this in this mess um but i feel like you're being spiritually guided to this person for those of you where this is a three-dimensional human being any advice for leos regarding this spread no any it's like no no it doesn't feel right never right any advice for my leos regarding this spread saw the wolf peeking out kind of not surprised yeah it's like this this deck is really wanting to talk so i just want to make sure i'm getting the right cards here badger badger spirit be fearless and bold leo energy of four this is about your fucking stability okay your emotional stability your sanity uh for some of you it could even be affecting your finances dealing with this person this is about your stability and you are going to take action and doing and dealing with this person and finally just walk it away because you realize it you realize after they bring this shit up from the past, you're just like, that's it. Wow. Like, it's never going to end. If I don't leave, it's never going to end. It's never going to change is what you're realizing. So, yeah, you're just having to be <laughs> just having to be very proactive, very proactive in dealing with this. Any advice for my Leos? Any advice for my Leos? Regarding the spread, Let's see here, flamingo spirit, embrace the in between. Twenty six, break it out to an eight. Transitions. This is a card of transitions and enjoying the ride. Okay, enjoying the ride. For those who are, who are going towards a three dimensional person, maybe you need a little alone time first. You know, maybe you need some time to just like sleep, just recover. You know, spend some time in just silence for like a week or a few days. Just alone with your thoughts, alone with your feelings, away from people inter interrupting you, away from people's energy. I feel I feel that a little bit. Like while you're tra transitioned, um, there you need to just kind of take a little time to recover before you go to this other person here. Because for some of you, I feel like this is just a friend that you're heading towards, um, and I think you just need to be alone with your energy because you've been so zapped of your energy. Some of you, it's honestly just to sleep. So it's honestly just asleep. And it's so funny because let's, okay, sorry, I just have to say this. Leos, you guys love your sleep. You love your sleep. I'm very envious. You guys can sleep the way you do. I'm a Scorpio. We don't really sleep. Um, and I just, I, I'm just very envious of it. And Leos, you need a lot of it too. You do, you do. You need a lot of it. So anyway, I just had to mention that. Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Like I said, I'm very envy. Oh, bat spirit a rebirth is assured energy of five you got two fives here by the way and we already have the tower out here so that's not surprising underneath that a cyclical energy clear out the clutter with frog spirit and it's so funny when i said seagull now we got the vulture the vultures of the beach again it's like nothing is wasted it's just that cleansing it's that cleansing energy wow and then more healing energy definitely indicative of this tower moment look at this <laughs> just with the numerology alone tower moment completions ending a cycle here emotional purging emotional cleansing as well damn it oh that was weird i thought i was gonna start a second video it just said recording something something maybe it did start a second video i don't know i'm getting distracted leo there's a lot there's gonna be a lot of distractions around you so please keep that in mind don't get distracted from your healing process and don't get distracted from your path okay anyway 
So tower moment, completions, uh, ending of cycles, emotional purging, emotional cleansing, also cleansing of that person's energy out of your system. Like just picking that off, getting all that shit cleared out. So you might actually even go for a Reiki session to get this person's energy out of your energy field uh, once and for all. Especially if you were sleeping with them, they're really embedded in your chakras, okay? But just what's happened, that, what's, that's what happens when you have sex with people. Anyway, that's a whole other video. But you will be reborn, Leo. You will be a nude, you will be cleansed, and you will be healed, especially when you start to lead on this person here, okay? All right, Leo. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon and check that out along with Vimeo and Instagram. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Leos. Namaste.